In this week's American Opportunity, awesome tech girls. We know that learning to code puts you on a very good path to getting a pretty great job in today's economy. Consider this, by 2017, the app market will be valued at $77 billion, but right now, 80% of app developers are men. That needs to change. The new film, Code Girl, tackles that issue head on. Leslie Chilcott, the director, she also produced Waiting for Superman and An Inconvenient Truth, is with me from Los Angeles, along with Sana Talwar, Crystal Lamb, and Alana Woodward. They are part of the team Psychos, not my name, your name, Psychos, from Anaheim, <laughs> California. And they just competed in the Global Technovation Challenge. They had to develop an app in three months, and it had to address a problem in their community. Here's a look at the film. The most of girls were like, no, computer science is for boys. Only 7% of tech startups are led by women. And now I feel like I look everywhere, I'm like, that's a problem, and then this app could solve it. This is the next social media button. We are sophomores and we're all 15 years old. Join us to promote a cleaner, greener, and safer environment. We want to make it perfect. An actual problem and finding a way to solve it, like that is a really good feeling. Girl power, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for being here, and uh, and congratulations on everything. Sana, let me go to you first. Tell, tell us about the app you guys created. We created an app called Benefaction. Our motto was to um, benefit our community through action, and we wanted to create a, our goal was to create a more compassionate society in such a self-centered generation. And our app is based on like volu connecting volunteers to um, local people, like teenagers, and like college people, or even like organizations, and connect them ha and have like one center location where they could find everything they need. Wow, I love that, Leslie. Tell me, I mean, look, you produce these huge hits like Waiting for Superman and Inconvenient Truth. What was it about girls and tech that made you want to make this movie? So many things. Um, in 2013, I was making another film, and I heard about this contest. And it's one thing to kind of say to a teen girl from any country and say, you're, you're smart, you're great in math and science, you know, pick a different career, go into to technology and do right. all these things. It's another for Technovation to come up with this really co cool contest. I mean, every high school girl has a cell phone. And then they say to them, look around you, what problem do you see, and how would you, Sana, or Crystal, or Alana, how would you solve it? And all of a sudden, they're like, I'm 15, or I'm 16, really? How, what do I think? And, I mean, these guys are just a perfect example of how excited these girls, you know, in addition to all of their sports and basketball stars and everything else, they meet at like 7 in the morning and work on their app. So yeah. I think it's really transformative and really important. Crystal, one of the things that stood out to me in the film is one of the girls from the other teams said, it's hard to get excited about what you can't see, and you don't see many girls in coding, so it's hard to get excited and tell people this is what I want to do. What do you think about that? Um, for me, it's actually the opposite, because I feel like because I can't see that, I want to make that happen. So. <laughs> Um, not being able to see that many girls in code, I want to be the one to kind of spark that growth um, of technology in the girls' world. You know, it's interesting, Alana, there, the Labor Department says by 2020, so just about after you guys graduate, there will be an estimated 1.2 million job openings for computer specialists and scientists. What do you want to do with this huge skill that you have now? Um, I was just really looking forward to just getting out in the world and doing what I love because I've had the privilege of just taking a bunch of computer science classes at my high school. And so just getting out into the world and just knowing that there will be something I can do outside of um, mm -hmm. like regular classes and general education, that just really makes me super excited to be able to code. Leslie, should, you know, we, we, heard, we heard Marco Rubio say in the debate this week and, and many others have said, you know, 
these we should train this generation for the jobs of this generation and of the future. Do you think coding should be mandatory in every public school across this country? I think that offering coding classes should be mandatory. I don't think it's necessarily needs to be mandatory that everyone should take that, but they should be offered. And for me, one of my goals with the film is that every high school girl in America should take at least one coding class if they haven't already. And you know, to address that further, if 51% of the population is somehow not involved in the design of technology or any of the yeah. major decisions that go along with technology, that's going to bring us back and cause all sorts of problems um, in the long run. We can't just be avid users, especially as women and girls, we can't just be avid users of technology and not also create and write it. I completely agree. I got 10 seconds down the line. Sonna, Crystal, Alana, who's your idol? Who do you want to be like? Mar Marissa Myers. Who um, else? My mom. Who else? <laughs> Audrey Hepburn. Oh, I love all those. Um, I Bill love Gates. all those. <laughs> I love all those. Guys, wishing you all the best. Uh, it's really an inspiring film, and I know you're going to go very far. Thank you for being with me.